A couple of RSS feeds that may interest you, which are not actually news or information specific, they're actually product specific. They actually allow you to incorporate product listings, up-to-date product listings, often with your own affiliate ID, directly into your website. One of them is the Amazon feed. If you just go to Google and type in Amazon RSS feed, uh, number one result, Amazon.com syndicated content. And as is typical with Amazon, it's got a very long URL, so it's often easier to go direct through Google. But basically this page tells you a bit about, as you can see, Amazon.com syndicated content, and it has some, some RSS feeds for different product categories, books, well, uh, a number of them for books, as you can see, arts and photography, audio cassettes, and so on. And there's a lot, a lot of them you can incorporate directly into your site if you wish. So this is one way of adding automatically updated site content, or one area where you can find feeds so you can add automatically updating content to your website. By default it doesn't add your affiliate link, but I'm sure there's scripts available or you can do your own coding to just change it a little to add your link. But just out of interest, if, if we for example click on electronics, uh, let's say ink and toner finder, Obviously, it's going to display as XML, which isn't often isn't particularly meaningful to the naked eye. But as you can see, description, up-to-date listings of Amazon.com's top items by sales rank. So that's one place where you can find other RSS feeds which aren't, as mentioned, news specific. Another one which may interest you is Clickbank at this time, as I record this, don't in fact have an RSS feed to my knowledge. So what somebody's done is written a script where it's actually a service. It's a free service you sign up to. And what it does, it queries the Clickbank database according to your criteria and then creates an RSS feed from it. As you see this is how it looks. And this one does in fact automatically embed your affiliate ID into the into the links. As you can see it talks you through how to do it here. What I'm going to do now is sign up and just briefly briefly go through the process. So free to access at this time, as you can see the address is ambatch.com forward slash cbrss. So if you just go to the domain ambatch.com I'm sure there's easy instructions to find this page. So I'm going to sign up now and then we'll continue through this process. Okay, I've created an, an account, a free account, and I've logged in. And this is how the control panel looks. It may look slightly different by the time you visit, but this is how it currently looks. The most relevant links are add CB RSS feeds, add Clickbank RSS feeds, your current feeds, and also click tracking. So if we add a feed, You can choose which area of the Clickbank database you want a, a feed from. Let's say computing and internet. Let's click here to view the sub the subfolders. Or the uh, let's have a look. Let's say programming. You can also search by keywords if you wish. 
And how many products do we want displayed? Let's say five. And how often do you want the the files, the how often do you want the feed updated? I would say once a day is fine. So let's create this feed. Okay, so we've got that there. So I could, I'm going to leave this window open and return to my other browser window here. So I can display that feed correctly and see exactly what we've got. I've gone to Yahoo, I've opened a free Yahoo account. And what you want to do, if you're in Yahoo Mail, if you just click on My Yahoo, in My Yahoo they've got, they allow you to, um, to add content feeds. So if you go to choose content, I'm, what I'm going to do is untick all these. I'm not interested in the preset ones. So let's get rid of that. Okay, just a few more. We want RSS headlines and it's currently in beta. So let's tick that. Finished. So now we add our content source. Now there are there's plenty of RSS viewers on you know available as software. So you can you can install an RSS viewer as software and view it that way if you wish. In this example I'm just doing it through the Yahoo interface. So let's go back to our other window. There's our ClickBank link, our ClickBank feed, rather. So right-click, copy link location. Back to the other browser window. So add content source. Right-click, paste. So there's our, there's our ClickBank feed. So search. Okay, so there it is. Sources to add. Yeah, make sure both of those are ticked. Add. So now we can see our feed. It's a little bit cramped, as you can see, but it's just an example. There's a headline. And it's and it mentions here when it was last updated, when the information was last updated. Actually, if we click on Edit, there's our, our feed. We can change some display options. Let's say Short Summary. Let's say Show Up to 30, even though it's only going to show 5, because that's the option I chose. Or should do anyway. So Finished. So let's see how it looks now. Yeah, it's still a little bit crammed, but it's, ju it's just an example. Headline and a short description. So that's how the ClickBank feed works. If we click here, it should go to that website through my affiliate link, because that's what the this service does. So that's that's the web page. And actually just to confirm it went through my affiliate link, if I scroll down and go to the order page, uh, let's see if we can find it, okay. And okay, click the order button. Takes me to Clickbank order page. OK, and after entering the country and postcode, it takes you to the main page where you enter your payment details. And just which, right down the bottom, it mentions affiliate equals, and that's my affiliate ID. So that confirms that I've actually, using the ClickBank feed, I've actually visited this page and this order page through my own affiliate link.
So that works very well. So let's close that. So that's the ClickBank RSS feed generator, which you may find helpful as well, or useful as well for your own sites. So that and the Amazon, Amazon feeds, they're just a couple of, not news specific, but, cu- but product specific feeds, which you may find a good fit for your website, and often, of course, especially with the ClickBank feed, you can actually make money when people click on the links rather than just having people leave your website to read the news at another site or whatever or whatever the you know the headlines may be linking to